Cell phones may seem super powered these days, but robocalls are still our kryptonite. Americans got 58.5 billion of them in 2019, the most in history, according to Umail, a company that develops robocall blocking software. I get at least two or three a day. The financial cost spiraling too. The robocalls, you could eventually give up information that can be detrimental to um, you, your finances. By one estimate, Americans lost a staggering $19.7 billion to phone scammers last year alone, according to True Caller Insights, a group that studied robocall trends. So how do you stop the calls? Tip number one, put your number on the Federal Trade Commission's do not call list. Problem is, scammers do not care about that do not call list. Do they annoy you as much as they annoy everybody else? Absolutely. Even the people who work at the Federal Trade Commission are sick of it. Will Maxson is in the office that's trying to crack down by fining and closing robocall companies. He told us another thing you can do to stop the calls is to hang up as soon as you get a robocall and make sure you block that number. And that made us wonder if we got a brand new phone, surely that would be free from robocalls, right? Our Tegna investigative team decided to find out. We bought 16 brand new cell phones and spread them out in cities all across the country. And all 16 of those phones started getting robocalls weeks or even days after activation. In some cases, without the user ever placing a single call or text. So how did I get a robocall when I've never used this phone? It would depend on you know probably where that number came from. Meaning if I got a number that used to belong to someone else and they were on robocall lists, then my brand new phone is on one too. So tip number three to stop the calls, download a robocall blocking app. You can also call your phone carrier and see what spam filters they offer on your network. Maxson told me the FTC is working with the Federal Communications Commission and state attorneys general to try and stop robocallers, even targeting companies that provide the technology used in robocall operations. But Maxson says the worst offenders are outside U.S. borders, and therefore mostly outside the reach of the FTC. These days, they're even merging computer and phone technologies to spoof fake numbers in order to get around call blocking software. You think it's someone you want to talk to. And then on the other line, it's somebody you don't want to talk to. Like this robocall we got, Daniel Glazier doesn't own this number. We called back. It's just a dead line. Honestly, the, based on the way the network is set up and the way technology is right now, that it, it is not possible to simply flip a switch and make something happen and make everything stop. And if things are so bad you need to take drastic measures to stop the calls, here's our final tip. Activate the do not disturb function on your phone. That will block every number from calling your phone except your most trusted contacts or favorites to ensure those robocallers can't reach you. It is a little like unsettling that all these people have our phone numbers and we just live with them calling us all the time.